sister-in-law and her husband no longer live there. <clears throat> Trump 2020. Yes. Oh shit. It's just gonna keep hurting people, I see. Trump 2020. Police force is, is, is his main uh, help. And the uh, way to get out of prosecution. <laughs> you fucking elite me. He's sick. $750 in back taxes you owe uh, for a year. You owe taxes in $750 last year in the last four or five years. Who are you fucking shitting you? Are you kidding me? A billionaire. <laughs> Just like the other corporations that haven't paid any dues. And then they asked for one point two six trillion dollars. Trillion, you hear me? One point six trillion dollars. They get paid. They figured out the second time. I think they had this in 2008, didn't they? They faltered and jumped into something they didn't get out of, and we ended up paying them trillions. Jesus Christ, man, what the fuck is wrong with my government? That. That. It's the corporations that give everything they can to the company, to the government, except for nothing. It's all in Congress and all in senators. How they vote, what the vote is. I have always said, just like the uh, regular 12-person jury, you all have to go along with the verdict. Well, Supreme Court says, uh, get this, Supreme Court says 5-4. What? You are the Supreme Court. You should all be going one way or the other. Come on. Supreme Court. This is the ruling that was going to make the America how it is, or whatever it goes into for a ruling. You know, I see a lot of orders say, well, the Supreme Court said, well, this is another one that will never get out to other people that might even think about auditing or checking on their government. Well, your government is screwing you. So just figure that uh, once you put a camera in their face, they back up and bitch and moan. And, oh, you're hurting them. You're invading their privacy. A lot of people, <laughs> when these people go into the town halls and the police departments, these people behind the desk close the windows and the blinds. We don't want nothing to do with you. Nope, not going to do that for you. And a FOIA request. FOIA request. Month? Two months? Or an answer in ten days that we can't do whatever or we can do whatever. But then it goes on and on. I think there was a guy today that I watched on YouTube. Eight years in the courts. And I think all that was was a trespassing with a camera. Being on government property with a camera. And he has eight years of rigmarole. Money out of his pocket. Twice. They're taking it through the taxes to help out the officer or the charge, the defendant. And the plaintiff is putting in anything he can and everything he can, which isn't enough to win his case. Because the cops always win. <laughs> That's all I see. Cops always win. They do not go to trial for anything other than, what you do, hit the guy? Yeah, okay, you're done, goodbye. Really, they just, in my 
line of watching YouTube. YouTube's giving it to me. YouTube's giving it to me. I know YouTube shouldn't be doing that, but YouTube's giving it to me that these cops are bullies. Not dumb, stupid bullies, but conniving bullies because they get you to talk into what they want you to talk about and hear from back and forth. You notice all the times on these videos that I watch that the cop will ask the question, see your ID. Well, why do I have to give it? See your ID. What's the matter? How come I have to give my ID? See your ID. Well, I don't think I should have to do that. See your ID. That's mind numbing. What would you do after about 900 of those go? Yeah, here's my ID, you bag. And if you don't do nothing wrong, they tell you you're not in trouble. Well, yeah, you are. You might not have done nothing wrong, but now you have. You're on their radar if you didn't go to jail. And even if you went to jail or prison for whatever, you're going to pay even more. Oh, well. I'm not there. I don't see that. I am a law-abiding citizen and have never been in trouble. Never seen the inside of a jail. Nuh -uh -uh. That song. Mentalized on this song myself. Rot. Can't think of the name of the band. <laughs> yeah, I had two of it at Mari's. Oh well. So be it. It's what I deserve. So I'm headed on my way home. Stopped. I had a pizza pizzazz pizza just next to the railroad tracks in Danielsburg, Connecticut. Danielson. It is a big slice of pepperoni. They cut it in half. And it's still a big slice of pepperoni. And it is good. Not a lot of sauce. But that oil just tastes so good. They just know how to spice it up with the crust. It's a pretty close to a Gino's pizza. Sharon and I used to go to a Gino's pizza once a month in Willimannock. Anyway, maybe once every two or three months. I think the last time we went was a year and a half, two years ago. Ah. Papa Gino's. I think they are the best commercial pizza. Uh, certain company Pizza Hut, uh, stuff like that. Uh, Domino's, Mr. Pizza, Papa John's. Uh, what did I just say was the best? <laughs> Shit, pull off people. Help me out here. No clue where I was at just now. Because I got off subject for ooh, 10 seconds, 15 seconds anyway, coming down the hill. Yeah, I never thought about it. I lost all concentration of what I was talking about. So, if you guys can't figure it out, eh, it may be in another video. I don't know. <laughs> I may remember and go, oh, if I look at the video again. I sometimes come up with what I was going to say. And I might say something in another video. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see what these golfers have to do today. See if there's one or two guys. Oh, two guys at the end here.
saw it. Whatever. Yeah, I got metal. I don't give a shit. Is it golf or who the fuck cares? Alright, give me a budget. I'm all set. Alright, we're on South Street. Metal.